Today, we're going to look at one of Droplis's key features, which is painting. You've heard of painting with a brush on canvas. Well, this isn't really any different. Digital painting is great because you can easily correct your mistakes and there's lots of different brushes and styles that you can incorporate into your own projects. So let's get started. In Drawplus, we can paint using the brush tool, which is found on the drawing toolbar on the left. To create brush strokes, simply click and drag on your page. Now, from the Brushes tab on the right, we can choose a brush. There are lots of brushes here and they're all split into categories. First, choose your category and then click on the brush you'd like to use. You can change the colour, width and opacity of a brush on the context toolbar. Different brushes will suit different designs, so the best thing to do is experiment and see what works best with your drawing. Next, I'd like to draw your attention to some of the other options on the context toolbar. Here we have flow and smoothness. Flow works well with spray brushes, as it controls the density of the paint as it's applied, a little like layering up a brush before painting. Changing the smoothness setting will affect how smooth your stroke is applied. The final options we'll look at on the context toolbar are Select on Create and Fill on Create. By default, Select on Create is disabled, which means the brush stroke is laid down on the page and then deselected straight away. Therefore, the brush properties, i.e. colour, brush type and width, need to be set before you start painting. However, if you select this option, a brush stroke will remain selected after it's been laid down on the page, so you can edit its properties immediately. This is particularly useful if you're changing styles frequently. Finally, when Fill on Create is enabled, Draw Plus will fill the curve that's been produced by the brush stroke using the default colour. OK, now we've learnt the basics, let's look at an example. This is a Draw Plus sample called Fashion Girl. Feel free to open it from the Startup Wizard if you want to follow along with these steps. Lots of brush strokes of various colour, size, opacity, and type have been used in this drawing. Each of the brush strokes has been applied separately and we can look at this a little closer using solo mode. First, use the pointer tool to select a brush stroke in the drawing. Next, click the eye icon on the hint line at the bottom of the workspace to enable solo mode. Here, you can see the selected brush stroke in isolation and continue painting in this way if you want to. To disable solo mode and get back to the main workspace, simply click the eye icon on the hint line toolbar again. The brush strokes we added in solo mode have now appeared in the example. In the Layers tab, if I hide the colour layers, you can see that this picture started off as a line drawing. Let's try adding our own brush strokes. First, we'll add a new layer by clicking the Add Layer button at the bottom of the Layers tab. To rename the layer, click once on the layer's name and then type a new name. Ensure the layer is selected and then we're ready to start painting. From the Drawing toolbar, select the Brush tool and then choose a brush from the Brushes tab. Now you can set the line colour, width and opacity on the Context toolbar. Feel free to experiment with the other settings that we mentioned earlier if you want to. When your brush is ready, you can start painting. This example is quite abstract, so it's great for experimenting with different brush strokes. Next, we'll change the brush to something else. 
This time, I'll change the opacity on the context toolbar. Reducing the opacity makes the brush appear more faint and is great for subtle effects. Now, I can just keep building up this drawing by adding more brush strokes. When you're happy with your drawing, you can either export it as it is or see what it looks like as part of the example when you make the colour layers visible again. Alternatively, why not try using spray brushes to add some more detail like you can see in the original? There is so much you can do with this drawing and it's really good for practising painting and trying out the various brushes. That's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed exploring painting in DrawPlus and that you're looking forward to practising the skills you've looked at in your own drawings. For more information, see the Help, the How To tab, or the other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.